Gives this woman in marriage. Her mother and I. You may be seated. <clears throat> Family and friends, we are gathered here today to celebrate. their commitment to each other. Today, they will proclaim their love to the world, and we will rejoice with them. Nathan and Whitney, this is the time you have chosen to become husband and wife. We are here not only to witness your commitment to each other, but also to wish you both every happiness in your future life together. Let us pray. Nathan and Whitney, may your marriage bring you all the fulfillment a marriage should bring, and may the Lord give you patience, tolerance, and understanding. May it be full of joy and laughter, as well as comfort and support. May you discover the true depth of your love through loving one another. Remember that every burden is easier to carry when you have the shoulders of two instead of one. When you are weary and discouraged, look to Jesus to refresh and strengthen you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your presence here with us and for your blessings upon this marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Nathan and Whitney, the step that you are about to take is the most important into which two people can come. It is a union of two people founded upon mutual respect and affection. Your lives will change, your responsibilities will increase, but your joy will be multiplied if you are sincere and earnest in your pledge to one another. In marriage, you give yourselves freely and generously into the hands of the one we love. And in doing so, each of us receives the love and trust of the other as our most precious gift. Nathan and Whitney, we are here to remember and rejoice with you and recount with one another that it is love that guides us on our path and celebrate as we begin this journey together. It is in this spirit that you have come here today to exchange these facts. Thank you. Nathan, do you take Whitney to be your wife to live together in holy marriage 
to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and give yourself to her completely in body, mind, and soul from this day forward, you shall be hers alone as long as you both shall live. I do. Whitney, do you take Nathan to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and give yourself to him completely in body, mind, and soul, that from this day forward you shall be his alone as long as you both shall live. Thank you. In token of your mutual purpose to unite this sacred bond and to faithfully observe his duties, you both mutually agree to be each other's companions, husband and wife, observing the legal rights belonging to this condition that is keeping yourselves holy for each other and from all others as long as you both shall live. <clears throat> for thousands of years, lovers have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. These rings say that even in your uniquenesses, you have chosen to be bound together. Let these rings be a sign that love has substance as well as soul, a present as well as past, and that despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. Please present the rings. finger and repeat after me. Okay. With this ring, With this ring I be wed, I be wed. Take, it take it and wear it, and wear it. As, a symbol as a symbol of all we shall share. Of all we shall share. Whitney, take Nathan's ring and place it on his left hand and his ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed, take it, take it, and wear it, and wear it as a symbol, as a symbol of all we shall share. All we shall share. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we have witnessed your divine sacrament of marriage this day with Nathan and Whitney. We pray for your continued blessing on their life together. May your spirit that abides within them hold them and sustain them throughout their life journey. And as they make their life together, may their relationship grow with each other. As family and friends have witnessed this blessed occasion, may Nathan and Whitney feel the love and support of today for always. May we always be there with them. We pray these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Nathan and Whitney, you have made special promises to each other which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, taking vows, and giving vows, and giving and receiving of rings. I, as a minister of the community of Christ and the authority vested me by the laws of the state of Missouri, pronounce you husband and wife together. May God add his blessings and keep you to fulfill your covenant from this day forward. Henceforth, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Nathan, you may kiss your bride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nathan and Whitney Whitehead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. 